everyone, welcome to another episode of Too Much Information. I'm your host, Esme Joseph. Today, we'll be talking about the discrimination of the LGBTQ plus community in Malaysia. Lately, there's been a slew of cases where the LGBTQ plus community have become a target of discrimination and criticism. Most recently, Numan Afifi, the interim press officer and permanent bro to sports and youth minister, Said Sadiq, resigned after criticisms targeted at him because of his history of LGBTQ plus activism. So, what are the laws pertaining LGBTQ plus in Malaysia? Same-sex acts have been banned in Malaysia since colonial times under a sodomy law. The same law that PKR de facto leader Datuk Sri Anwar Ibrahim was charged for. Those found guilty can be charged for up to 20 years in prison. The laws are not limited to homosexuality. It concerns all unnatural sex. Enforcement is generally pretty lax, but the loose definition gives police a lot of power to prosecute. DAP MP Charles Santiago said that the resignation of Numan is a human rights issue. He said the government has a duty to protect the rights of all citizens. Their sexual orientation does not change their rights. The history of discrimination against those who have been associated with the LGBTQ plus is not new. In 2015, nine trans women were arrested for posing as women in Kelantan. Trans activist Nisha Ayub has also been jailed under similar laws. A report from Human Rights Watch in 2014 found that the LGBTQ plus people in Malaysia routinely experience discrimination from authorities and in their everyday lives. The UN Committee on Women's Rights also challenged Malaysia's LGBTQ plus rights record, but was told by Putrajaya that the LGBTQ plus community was treated equally. Malaysia, Belarus, Russia, Egypt, Qatar, Indonesia, Pakistan and the UAE are part of a coalition of countries that block a UN resolution supporting LGBTQ plus rights. Conversion therapies for gay people is also supported by local universities. Some even equate LGBTQ plus behaviour to smoking. According to the constitution, discrimination in employment not directly relating to religious affairs is illegal. Regardless of whether one thinks being LGBTQ plus is wrong, Newman's sexual orientation does not make him any more or less qualified to be a press secretary. Minister in the Prime Minister's Department in charge of Islamic affairs, Mujahid Yusuf Rawa said that the LGBTQ plus community in the country should not be discriminated in the workplace. Pearlis Mufti Muhammad Azri Abidin also came up with a statement rebuking discrimination against the LGBTQ plus community. He said, a sin is a sin. However, a sin does not justify other sins being committed against the sinner. Some Malaysians have even gone to the extent of seeking asylum abroad. For example, Julian Sanjivan, HIV AIDS awareness activist, sought asylum in the United States after receiving death threats here. In Newman's case, after his resignation, he said he would be going abroad. Is our attitude towards the LGBTQ plus community driving talented people away from the country? Does it really matter what their sexual orientation is if they are qualified to do the job? Let us know what you think in the comments below. Thanks for watching. See you next week.